Hello and welcome everyone. In the previous video you learned about how to write queries for the home page and in this video you will learn about how to use uh, those queries and create pages dynamically. So let's do that. So what we'll do is we'll go on to our project inside of the Gatsby WordPress themes, uh, theme Phoenix and uh, then inside of the Gatsby node.js uh, like we created all pages similarly we'll have to write it for the custom page as well, custom home page. So I'll also say create uh, front page equals require and then create pages and then inside of this we need to create another file called front page dot js. Okay and we just need to give the path of that over here. Right, and then just do a copy paste of this, and this time do it for create front page. This is how you'll create different pages. Okay, so this is my custom page, the create uh, front page. Okay, and uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to our front page, and then I will need to use the front page template. So I will create. I will create a directory called front page inside of template and I will go ahead and uh, create an index.js so this is the template that we are going to use for rendering the content of the front page okay and um, this is where we need to give the path of this particular template so I'm just going to paste that here. Okay. So we're just using slash from Gatsby Core Util to slash the URL. And then we're using the front page template, which is going to be this path that we've just created. Okay. And then the next thing we need to do is let's just do const front page template equals return front page okay <clears throat> export default front page okay and of course you need to import react as well import react from react all right so now over here we need to create the query so and to write the query so get front page equals we'll use backtick and inside of this backtick I'm gonna say query get front page and then curly braces and inside of that we have to paste that entire query so I think we already got that there just gonna paste that you can either paste it from github or you can just paste it from here so we wrote, wrote a query over here and then we also have it in the github right here so I'm just gonna take that just in fact let me just take this whole thing so that I don't worry about the curly braces okay all right so we've got a query over here and uh, this is our entire query for the front page right and then what we're gonna do is we'll do module dot exports equals asynchronous and then I'm gonna pass actions actions graph ql and then inside of this I will pull create pages function create pages 
create page function from actions. So remember that in the Gatsby Node.js we are passing the actions in GraphQL to create front page and that's what we have available here. Okay, great. <clears throat> now we'll fetch the posts. So we'll use the fetch post function so to do the query. So fetch posts equals asynchronous and then once this get resolved then we need to do the query for the home page so we'll do return await graphql so graphql will allow us to do, do the query and then we need to pass our query over here so we already have that as get front page on top this one okay so and then once this is resolved so dot then so it returns a promise okay and inside of this promise I'm gonna get access to data because remember that when we actually got the data it is it was available inside of oops yeah it was available inside of data okay so that's what we have available here so you've got data and then inside of this data we'll say const and we're just going to pull out all of this so we're going to pull out the hw graphql we'll pull out the page by we'll pull out the posts all posts all of that stuff right all all posts so we'll pull up all of those stuff okay so <clears throat> So we'll say hw graph ql and then inside of this we'll pull out the page by using the object destructuring of ES6 all posts as well and that will be from data. Okay and then the next thing we need to do is <coughs> at this point uh, we would also be okay so on the home page we will also be creating the search functionality and for search functionality there are different options available uh, you can use elastic search you can use the GS search or you can make the live query and perform live search uh, as well so the different options available but for this tutorial we're going to talk about the uh, GS search option so for that uh, what we need to do is at this point since we already got the data available for all posts on the home page uh, we are going to go ahead and pass that all post data all right and then we also ensure that we push the category etc inside of that okay so we'll just say let all the posts equals <clears throat> all posts dot notes and if that is present then all posts dot notes dot map I'm gonna map it through and then say post okay so <clears throat> Let me paste some code over here because otherwise the video is going to be too long. Okay, so we're going to push the categories data in form of an array to make it searchable. Uh, so we'll say let post data is equals post. We'll just say post data dot categories data is empty and then just loop through the categories uh, from the post data and push them inside of the post data. So we have the categories available as well. Okay, and then we'll just eventually pull push all of the posts and we'll eventually push the post data into all the posts okay so you will see the shape of this data in a moment let's continue with this and then finally you need to return all of that okay the reason why we are passing we are doing this over here because when 
when the user try to search the post it should be searchable by category as well you know for example uh, if he types uh, like travel uh, and if there is a there are posts available under that category we should we should render those posts as well and that's why we're doing that okay all right so next what we need to do is once this is resolved so we're going to await for that so we'll say await fetch posts fetch posts and then dot then okay this is going to go inside of this actually dot then and we will get access since we are returning page post and all posts that's what we're going to get over here so page posts and all posts okay that's what we'll have over here and then it's gonna go inside of curly braces sorry round brackets and then finally inside of that we'll use the create page function that we had pulled from the top we had pulled from the top so this is the create page function this will help us create the page for us and we'll do create page and then it's going to take different parameters so like we discussed last time we want to create this front page on the root that's why we are just saying slash over here and then component what component I want to use to render the data so I'm going to use first I'll do slash and then I'm, I already have that on the top so we have the front page template oh I copied twice okay I'll just get rid of it once okay so I'm going to use the front page template so I'll just put that here and then <clears throat> and then context because that we need to pass the data in context whatever data we pass in the context will be available so I'm just going to go ahead and paste it to save time okay so since we have the page that's what we return from here page and that's what we are passing then we have posts right posts we're passing that as well and then we are also have created another key name called post search data I mean you can give the name whatever you want and then inside of this I'm passing the all posts okay and then I'm passing the options uh, which is all of this okay now if you're wondering where did this all come from so that actually you will get that in the documentation of the JS search so I'm gonna show that to you so the first thing we need to do is just stop the development server and just install uh, the JS search package for the search functionality so what we'll do is like pass all of the post data to our template and then JS search is just going to perform all of the search when user searches in the input okay so I'll say yarn workspace uh, name of the workspace is Gatsby WordPress theme add JS search so the reason why I try to install it first because while this is installing we can talk about what this is 